we have a golf ball going down yeah. here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We'll go into this cup. Ah, we'll no. Activate with the pulley. Yep. Yeah. Because we're trying to pull his hat off. That's our goal. His hat needs go. Oh, I'm just watching. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it works. Hello, everybody. Happy holidays. Uh, I'm Superintendent Eric Melby welcoming you to the December edition of Melby Monthly. Thanks for tuning in. We have been celebrating in the district Computer Science Education Week in Minnesota. Um, we have, I believe, the state's best computer science program. We have computer science immersion programming for students. So it was great having the Minnesota Department of Education Commissioner of Education, Willie Jett, here to uh, work with uh, our students and actually go into a third grade classroom, Lee Nelson's room at Indian Mounds Elementary, and uh, work with students as they do math problems and do some coding to make these little ozone bot robots go to the correct math answer. It was really cool to see and the commissioner got a first-hand experience working with kids hands-on uh, programming these ozopods. So what are you guys working on here? I also had an opportunity as part of this computer science education uh, celebration to go to Olson Middle School, Ashley Trich's classroom, and work with kids as they develop Rube Goldbergs. But then where's it gonna go from there? I don't think I was a lot of help. You might see some video of me putting duct tape on something. That was about the extent of my help, but it was really fun to see the kids and watch their brains in action trying to figure out how to make these Rube Goldberg devices do what they want them to do. So in our new strategic plan, our mission is to help students thrive in a rapidly changing world. That's what this computer science programming does for our students. It really prepares them for the rapidly changing world. There's technology. Uh, nobody's shocked to hear that uh, artificial intelligence is in the news all the time. Our students in Bloomington are gonna be prepared to navigate that world better than most, uh, and, and that really fits with our strategic plan goals. You've heard me talk about our strategic plan before. We did a lot of hard work with our community and staff last year to create it. We've been working on action plans this fall. We've completed that action planning work, and you can look for information to go up on our website. The next step is we're gonna hold a big summit for those action plan teams in January, and then we'll start our implementation teams. Another part of that strategic plan work is developing a data dashboard. So we've got teams working at the district office. And again, I think as the school year progresses, if you keep an eye on our website and give you hints into when to look at that information and see what we've updated. Look for more information and opportunities, frankly, to be involved in our implementation of the strategic plan. Bloomington Public Schools is about to start winter break. And so I'm wishing you happy holidays, a good winter break. I hope you all have time to connect with friends and family and recharge your batteries. Come back in January at uh, full strength as we go into the new year. Uh, so that's a wrap for the December Melby Monthly. I'll see you next year.